Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year, y'all. Happy New Year. We are in 2022. Wow. Just wow. Um, anyway, let's do my best in beauty. We are going to talk about the makeup. Yes, it's just all makeup today. I'm going to have another video where I talk about like non-makeup things, but let's talk about the makeup i tried in 2021 that i absolutely loved that was the best of the best that i used the most <laughs> so get you a drink get you a snack get comfortable and let's get into it we're gonna talk about the products in the order of how I put them on the face. So the very first thing that I do is prime the skin. I'm gonna talk about moisturizers and stuff in another video, but primer, the primer that launched last year that I absolutely loved. I actually have two. I don't have one in front of me because I emptied it, but the one that I don't have in front of me is the um, Fashion Fair Primer Serum, which I just shared in my empties video. That one was really good and I loved it. Um, but this one, NARS Soft Matte Primer. Girl, if you're watching this and you have oily skin, just go ahead and get this. If you haven't tried it already, get it. I have an oily T-zone and this works wonders. Wonders, wonders, wonders on me. Um, it's not greasy. It kind of has, let me just squirt it out so you can see it. It's white and it absorbs really fast. And it just leaves the skin looking kind of like a soft velvet finish it's not drying it's just great for oily skin so really really enjoyed this a lot of you know what is coming next so i do my brows first well after i put on primer i put on my brows and a lot of you a lot of you already know which one i'm about to talk about huda beauty girl i went through so many of these I just hate, 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 hate that this breaks so easily. But girl, when I say this is my favorite brow pencil, if they can redo this to where it doesn't break as easily, I'll buy like 50 of them. 50, 60, 100. <laughs> I use the mess out of this brow pencil. It's just so freaking skinny. But I like that is that skinny because it's gonna make your brows look more realistic. So if you don't have thick brows and you want your brows to look natural, this will definitely do it because it's so skinny. Oh, speaking of brows. Now you guys don't really see me do this step in a lot of my get ready with me's because I usually use this when I'm not wearing makeup, if I just wanna you know, run out and do errands. But it's the Kosas um, Air Brow. It's a brow gel. I like, y'all, I love Kosas. I have another product from this brand that I'm gonna talk about, but this is what I would use constantly when I don't have my brows arched, like when it's time for me to arch my brows and I just feel lazy. So I do my brows myself and I just usually use a uh, brow razor to arch them, but this is what I would put on my brows, especially if I'm going out in public and I don't have any makeup on. I would just put this through the brows and it just, it kind of made it look like my brows were freshly arched in a way, but it's just a good brow gel and it doesn't um, dry up to be white or anything like that. It's just a nice clear brow gel that I think this launched. Yes, it did launch last year. So y'all gotta correct me if I'm wrong because some of this stuff may have launched in 2020. <laughs> all right, y'all gonna have to bear with me with the lighting cause it's getting dark outside and now all the shadows are coming. It's just looking weird. But it's fine it's okay it's whatever um foundation i didn't try out a lot of found well i didn't try a lot of new foundations out last year but fashion fair came well they came back last year and i wanted to share it in this video so the fashion fair cream to powder foundation and the foundation stick now i will say between these two i found myself using the foundation stick more but these were really really good and i used the shade brown sugar babe so if you guys want to see my first impression on this um, the whole line um, it is on my channel so that is that and then elf camo CC cream this girl this 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 stuff hands down the best CC cream the 
freaking best, especially if you're wanting a full coverage CC cream, which you don't really see often because they're pretty sheer. This one, bomb, my second tube. That just tells you how much I love it. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, I think they just came out with new shades. I think they did. The shade I use is 540N, and I feel like this is a good match for me. Um, but yeah, I think they came out with new shades like recently, like this year, like 2022. Or was it in December? But they just came out with brand new shades in the CC cream. But yes, it's such a beautiful finish, natural, full coverage, and it also has SPF 30 in it, which is good for the skin. So really enjoyed it that last year and my sephora best skin ever foundation y'all out of the few that i just mentioned this one is my favorite even though i love me some elf camo cc cream foundation this one right here is just is something about this foundation that just makes my skin look so it looks like i don't have on foundation when i use this but it gives me coverage it's so pretty so natural and it wears beautifully throughout the entire day y'all this is in the shade 5 uh 50n so yeah elf best skin ever and i want to say this one launched in january because i did i did a review on this and it was around was it january february it's the beginning of the year beginning of the year last year I can't remember, girl, <laughs> but I love this stuff. So freaking good. Um, concealer. So I didn't really try out a lot of new concealers last year either, but the ones that I did try, I just pulled out two from my collection. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer, and the shade is 460... Yeah, 460. I like that you can wear this as an all over foundation if you want, but I like to use this to highlight. So I just put it under my eyes, forehead, down my nose, and then my chin. Um, but it's a nice full coverage concealer and I feel like it doesn't crease. It doesn't look cakey. It just looks really, really, really pretty on the skin. And then this next one is actually one that I recently tried. I don't know if this is the same concealer because they had a super, this is the Maybelline Superstay concealer but they had this concealer months ago almost what a year ago or so I tried that one but I don't I can't remember if it's the same one as this one this was just a different um tube it's not like a I don't know why I just took the doe foot out but it's not full coverage but you can actually build it up and it still doesn't look cakey which is crazy because I have a few concealers in my collection that I could add two or three layers or just two layers and it looks crazy on my skin but this right here i can put a couple of layers on blend it out and it still looks flawless on the skin it doesn't crease it just looks really really pretty on the skin and it's also um long wearing too so really enjoyed that um that i tried so next is setting powder y'all and I know you guys are so tired of me talking about this one particular setting powder, but I tried it last year. It came out last year. I think it was the beginning of the year, like the very beginning. Um, but it's the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. <laughs> I am not going to spend too much time talking about this, y'all. Just know that this was my first loose setting powder that I emptied and I've emptied it twice okay this is my third one I just opened this one up y'all it is something about this setting powder that is it, it's just something about it y'all I don't know what it is but it is something about it it's something it's just it just works so good for me it looks beautiful on the skin there's no flashback it is just one of the best setting powders that I have in my collection that I just can't get enough of. So absolutely love that. Had to put it in today's video. A lot of you already know that. <laughs> so yeah, um, what else, what else, what else? Let's talk about bronzer. So this was kind of hard because I don't remember if, uh, I need to just pull this table up closer to me. 
I don't remember if this launched in 2021. It's the Danessa, uh, the, the, <laughs> Danessa Myricks Cream Bronzer. This didn't launch last year. This, I feel like this has been out for a minute, but she's in the video. She's here. I gotta talk about it because she is my favorite cream bronzer, y'all. I kind of put her to the side though because I've been using this one from Anastasia a lot. Like, look at this, y'all. I have put a dent in her. This is what I have on today. Um, and this one did launch in 2021. It's the cream bronzer in the shade Chestnut. This is a little, I feel like it's almost similar to my Danessa Myers, but this one from Danessa is a little bit more creamier, I feel like. But on the skin, they pretty much look the same. Um, but yeah, these were my go-to cream bronzers in 2021. This is just a newer one. Absolutely love. I have been dipping into cream bronzers more than I have powder bronzers. I think I started dipping into them when did I, I started dipping into the cream bronzers when I started using this. And I know I purchased this last year. I think I did. The beginning, the beginning of the year, I think. I can't remember, girl, but these were my favorite, favorite cream bronzers in 2021. I want to say this one from Fenty Beauty. Now, this has been out for a minute, but the shade is new. This is Thick Mint. I want to say this is the one that, um, cause I did a whole review on, well, I did a, um, comparison video using this one, Coco Naughty and Mocha Mommy. And I did that video back in February, March ish. And that's when I think that's when this one came out. That's when this shade came out, but yeah, thick mint was definitely my go-to powder bronzer in 2022 well what 2021 but those are the only three bronzers that i wanted to share Ooh, I, I do not feel like picking that up those are the only three bronzers <laughs> that i wanted to share in this video that i actually used the most last year uh let's see what is next blush oh wait i do have a i can't believe i skipped over this y'all I skipped over my Dior powder, y'all know. Y'all know how much I love this stuff. This, when did this launch, y'all? What month was it? But I, I tried it out last year and I was obsessed. I'm still obsessed with it. I mean, clearly, y'all see. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see my love for this powder. I have a, no, um, a whole new one. I just haven't opened it yet, but this powder is the powder for spring and summer. If you want, if you want a powder that doesn't look like a powder on your face, but it still gives you a really pretty finish, this is very like, it's really sheer, but at the same time, it's, it looks, I cannot explain this y'all. It is just the best powder y'all. It is the best. And that's why they call it no powder. What do they call it? The powder, no powder. Yeah. Powder, no powder. The freaking best because it actually looks like you have on no powder, but you have on powder. But yeah, I feel like this is great if you um, want to wear makeup during the spring and summer, but you, you know, you want to still feel like you don't have on anything because it's so hot. This, if you're into spot concealing and you want to set the concealer, this, if you are wanting to wear a CC cream or a BB cream, put this on to set it because it's still gonna be, like it's still gonna be lightweight on the face. It's not gonna feel heavy, it's not gonna look heavy. It's just the best. Just go ahead and get it if you haven't already. Um, now, blush. Okay, I didn't wear a lot of blush last year, but the blush that launched, that has become my go-to because I have started back wearing blush, y'all. I don't know why I stopped. Actually, I do know why I stopped. I stopped because I like the look of like I use my bronzer as a blush and I just like that look, but I have been wearing blush y'all. I have on blush today. 
and it's actually the Pat McGrath blush. This is in the shade Paradise Venus. And the last time I looked this up, it was sold out. I don't know if it's still sold out, but if it's not, go ahead and get this color. This is a beautiful, beautiful, rosy, mauve, everyday color. I mean, you can see it. Look at this. It's just so cute. It is gorgeous. So, love this blush. Can't remember when it launched last year, but I do know it launched last year and I have been loving it. So, especially recently, because like I said, I've been dipping back into the blushes. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm gonna start using things, like dipping back into the products that I kind of stop dipping in, like blush, highlighter. Okay, eyeshadow. I didn't dip into a lot of eyeshadow last year because I usually do like one color. <laughs> like today, I just have on the um, Patrick Ta contour and that's just in the crease. I just, it's, I just haven't been loving eyeshadow a lot. But the palettes that launched last year that I loved, this one right here, Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette, I think. No, the Primrose palette. This was definitely a favorite of mine, like when I started using it. And I would dip, I mean, girl, I gotta stop dipping into the same colors all the time, but I will say the, like the actual, she has good shadows anyway. I was gonna say the actual palette itself is really good, but all of her, I don't wanna say all. Most of her, most of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows are really, really, really good. But this palette actually has a blush, it's called Saddle. This color right here is beautiful, beautiful on my skin. But yeah, this is how she looks, really cute, but it's still a nice neutral everyday palette. But if you wanna spice it up, you can because you have the golds, the bronze, like you have some cute colors in here that you can play with. But I really enjoyed this um, when I tried it out. And, oh, I think this was not a 2021 launch, but it's the color, actually it was, it was. The ColourPop Down to Earth Pressed Powder Palette. This has, I broke it, y'all, because I used to use it like crazy, like. <laughs> but it's just all matte shades, and this is what I go for. Like, this is, whenever I'm doing eyeshadow, I just reach for this or reach for, the Anastasia palette dip into, you know, one of those neutral shades. This is just my thing. <laughs> this is, when it comes down to doing even a smoky eye, this is what I like to use. You have a really pretty deep black, like this black is intense, y'all. Like very, very, very intense. Very pigmented. They blend out really good. So this was definitely one of my favorites from ColourPop. Yeah, ooh, I need to. Oh, I just broke it even more. I'll just have to glue it or something. As long as I can keep the top on it, but yeah. And then the um, Patrick Ta Four Eyes Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna take this brush and kind of go right here because I'm kind of getting a little oily because these lights are hot. Ooh, y'all, this brush is the Ulta Beauty. Now, this didn't launch last year, but I tried it out towards the end of last year, but Ulta Beauty has some good brushes. This is the powder brush number 20, and I feel like this is just like the um, Sephora 50 brush, which is a bronzer brush, but this is literally just like it. <laughs> the shape and everything. It is just like that brush and y'all know that's one of my favorite bronzer brushes and this is actually um cheaper than the sephora brushes but i just had to you know tap the face really quick but anyway this palette right here the patrick ta major dimension yeah the major dimension eyeshadow palette this was also my go-to like neutral everyday palette i just love me a neutral shade y'all i love my neutrals love it i don't think i'm gonna ever get tired of neutral it just goes with everything and it's so easy to slap on the lid you don't have to think about it whereas with color you're like okay is this color gonna match this outfit that i'm wearing 
Is this outfit gonna look good because I have on color eyeshadow? I don't have to worry about any of that when I'm wearing a neutral eye. So enjoyed that palette as well. Those are the only eyeshadow palettes that, like, the only new palettes that I got last year that I used the most, that I loved the most. I don't have this one in front of me because I emptied it and I didn't buy another one. But the Patrick Ta eyeliners, the gel liners, one of the best creamy, like super dark, easy to apply eyeliner that I got from Sephora. So if I can um, find a picture of it, I'll have it on screen. I'm gonna have everything I talk about in the description, but that's another eyeliner. Um, well, another product that I tried last year that was one of my favorites. Obviously, it was my favorite because I emptied it um, and it made it into an empties video. But yes, the I think it's called the Precision Gel Eyeliner. I have, uh, I have one. I emptied the black one. I have the brown one. I'm just so lazy, y'all. I'm not even gonna get up and get it, but. <laughs> But I just wanted to mention that because I do that after I put on my eyeshadow. Remember, we're going into the uh, we're going in the order of how I do my face. After that, I put on my mascara. So the two mascaras that stood out to me last year, that launched last year, is this one from Elf. Is the Elf Cosmetics Big uh, Big Mood Mascara. This is a dupe. And I'm saying it now because I feel like it definitely is. It is a dupe to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The wand looks identical to it. Like, just like it. Y'all probably can't see it from here. But just like it. When I use the Too Faced Mascara, my lashes look just like they do when I use this. So if you are wanting something way cheaper, because y'all know Elf Cosmetics is very affordable, um, if you're wanting something cheaper than the Too Faced Mascara, even though that one's really good, but if you're wanting something cheaper, this one from Elf Cosmetics is really, really good. And then this from Kosas. I told y'all earlier, I love me some Kosas. This mascara, I tried this out last year. It's called the Big Clean Mascara. I remember purchasing it, but did it launch last year? <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> You know what, at this point, it doesn't even matter. I purchased this last year and it's become my favorite mascara. Love it. It's actually what I have on today. And I need to go ahead and toss this because I can't get anything else out. And that's how I know when my, skin, like when my mascaras are done, when I can't really, like, I feel like when the wand is starting to feel or look kind of dry and when I don't really get a lot on my lashes, that's when it's time for me to toss it. Plus, I've been wearing this constantly non-stop ever since I purchased it. I mean, I do kind of switch out my mask. Well, whatever mascara that I've already opened, I kind of um, go back and forth with them. But I do know I have been using the mess out of this one. So love it. And Kosas is like, they, they're they actually a clean brand, a clean beauty brand on Sephora. So their products are really good. Their ingredients are really good too. So um, oh, before we talk about um, lip products, because that's going to be the last thing, I totally forgot to talk about this because I still to this day get tons of questions about the sponge that I use when I apply my foundations. This is a DSMD beauty sponge, and I know this didn't launch last year. Like, they, they've been out for a minute, but this hands down is my favorite, favorite, favorite beauty sponge. I use this for my foundation. I use it for my concealer setting powder well my loose setting powder that i set my concealer with but if you guys have never tried any of their sponges they are the best <laughs> they are hands down the best sponge that i've tried and they are super affordable and they are black owned so i'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in um their sponge that's it y'all i hope y'all enjoyed today's video let me know what was your favorite in 2021 what products were your favorite what foundation was your favorite just let me know let's talk about it down below in the comments if you tried anything that i mentioned from this video what was it do you like the product do you not like the product i still want to know so let's go ahead and talk about that as well down there but that is it girl that is all that i have i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one